Hey guys, today I'll explain why it is very important to backup your files stored on Wasabi. Many people believe that syncing or copying data to their Wasabi Cloud account is equivalent to having a reliable backup. But that's not the case. Let's be clear. Wasabi's objective is to achieve the highest level of service uptime or service availability so customers can easily upload and retrieve data on their cloud platform. This is not the same as the highest level of data protection. Although Wasabi will have redundancy measures in place including backups, they are only used for internal system-level recovery purposes. They are not accessible to their customers. Moreover, Wasabi doesn't provide individual data backup for their customers' data. The only option for Wasabi Cloud customers is to use the recycle bin to store the files they have deleted. These files stay in the bin for only 30 to 90 days based on their service plan. After that, files are permanently deleted from the recycle bin and cannot be recovered. Imagine losing critical files due to accidental deletion, data corruption, ransomware, or hackers. It can disrupt your business operation significantly. Worry no more, as Asai got you covered. So if you want to keep your files, folders, or photos and videos, docs, PDF files, or whatever file you want on Wasabi safe and secured, then keep watching. To start with, double-click the Asai OBM icon from your desktop. This will prompt the Asai OBM window. Once you're on the login page of Asai OBM, enter your credentials to access your account. Then click OK. As you can see, you're now on the home screen of Asai OBM. But before being able to do a backup shop, you'll need to create the backup set first. So click on Backup Sets. Then click the plus sign. You can rename your backup set or you can use the default name provided. Then change the backup set type to Cloud File Backup. Once you change the backup set type, additional fields will be added. Select the drop down menu of Cloud Type, then click Wasabi. To continue, Enter the access key and secret key. Enable connection with SSL TLS before clicking Next. This serves as a security measure to authenticate and secure data transfer between Wasabi and Asai OBM. Click Next to continue. Asai OBM will verify the keys you entered and will test its access to your Wasabi account. After Asai OBM successfully tests its access and logs into your Wasabi account, you'll be able to choose which bucket to select for this backup set. In this example, there are three buckets available. I'll select the production files. Click Next to continue. It's time for you to select files and or folders for this backup set. With Backup Source, you'll see the main folders as well as the subfolders on your Wasabi bucket. You have to tick off the Show Files checkbox so files will appear. When you click on a folder, you'll be able to see all of its content, which means you can now select specific files or folders for this backup set. If you want to backup all your files and folders on Wasabi, just tick off the checkbox beside the Wasabi logo. For this example, I'm selecting the main folder Production 2022. Let's unselect this and click on the Production 2022 checkbox. This automatically selects all the files within this folder, such as photos, videos, Excel file, PDF files, audio files, etc. for backup. This also includes the subfolders and the files within these subfolders. Unless you want to exclude some, you're free to unselect whatever folder or file you want. After selecting files and or folders, click Next to proceed. Select the switch to turn on Scheduled Backup. A scheduled backup will automatically backup the files and folders you have selected based on the frequency and time you set it on. This is very important, as a regular scheduled backup will minimize data loss ensuring you can always recover the most updated version of your files. Click on the plus sign to create a new backup schedule. You can use the default schedule name, but for this example, I will use daily backup at 1800. Next, 
choose from the different types of backup schedules such as daily, weekly, monthly, or custom. For this example, we will select a daily backup to run at 1800 hours. This setting is considered as the normal backup schedule, setting a certain time as to when the backup job will run. Now, if you change when the backup will start from at to every, this is called periodic backup schedule. Periodic backup schedule will automatically backup your data every one minute up to every 12 hours, depending on the interval you will select. The smaller the backup interval, the more frequent the backup job is. This ensures that changes made are captured regularly, which allows greater flexibility in recovery to a point in time. However, backups running at very regular intervals may have a performance impact on your backup machine. The increased frequency of backups may result in an increase in overall storage quota usage. Meanwhile, there are two options to choose from when you want the backup job to stop. This feature only works when you set a normal backup schedule. So, let's switch this back from every to at. Fault setting is until full backup completed, which means the backup job will only stop running when all selected files or folders or any subsequent changes are completely backed up regardless of how long it takes. The other option will stop the backup job after a certain number from 1 to 24 hours, even if the backup of your files or folder is not yet complete. For this example, we will use the default setting until full backup completed to ensure that all the latest changes to our files and folders are fully backed up every day. For the run retention policy after backup, the best practice is to have it enabled. With this setting turned on, ASI OBM will permanently delete files and folders in the retention area that have exceeded the retention period to better manage the backup storage quota after each backup job. We will be talking more about retention policy later on. After setting up your preferred backup schedule, select OK. Then click Next. For the destination, the default backup mode is sequential. But since we're selecting more than one storage destination, it is recommended to switch the backup mode to concurrent. To allow ASI OBM to backup your data to both destinations simultaneously, this approach helps reduce the overall backup time, which minimizes any performance impact to the backup machine. Once you switch to concurrent, you'll be able to set the maximum number of destinations to run simultaneously. Let's keep the default selection, which is unlimited. To add new storage destination, click the plus sign. The default destination storage, as I drive, is already selected. If you can remember, I mentioned that we will be selecting more than one storage destination. So we'll keep this on default and click OK to continue. Then click Add. Select Local, Map Drive, Network Drive, Removable Drive. It is very important that you choose to backup cloud data to a local drive or network drive as it allows you to take ownership and full control of your own data. Retain full access to your critical business data 24-7 in the event of service outages or even total loss of your cloud data to give you total peace of mind. Once you have selected the set destination, you will be asked to input local or network address. Click Change. Then select a destination. For this example, we will be selecting this drive. Then click on the backup folder that we created. Click OK to proceed. Then click OK again. ASI OBM will test its access to the local destination. After a successful test, click Next to continue. Now for encryption, we will use the default setting which is the most secure option as it uses AES 256-bit encryption technology and a randomly generated encryption key made up of 44 alphanumeric characters. Take note, once you have selected the encryption settings and your backup set is created, it cannot be changed afterwards. If you need to change the encryption settings, then a new backup set must be created. Your data will have to be backed up again from scratch. Click Next. It is very important to keep a copy of your encryption key before clicking Confirm. If you forget or lose your encryption key, you will lose the ability to access and restore your backup data. Click Confirm. When the backup set is successfully created, you will see this confirmation page. 
you now have the option to backup your files right away by clicking Backup Now. Or wait for the scheduled backup to start. Let's close this window and go back to the Backup Sets page. Select the backup set that you have just created. We're going to have a quick look at some of the other important settings on our file backup set, such as Windows User Authentication, Deduplication, Retention Policy, Temporary Directory, and Compression Setting. As IOBM utilizes Windows User Authentication login credentials to ensure it has adequate permissions for accessing various components on the backup machine. These include the temporary folder location and the backup destination, whether it's a local drive or a network drive accessible from the backup machine via LAN. The Windows User Authentication login credentials must have the necessary permissions to access network resources. Enter your Windows account password to provide ASI OBM permission. Apart from the Windows User Authentication, there are also other features that you have to know about. One is the duplication. This feature is enabled by default, and when it is turned on, it removes all duplicate data blocks from your backup. The default settings are the optimal settings for the duplication, and will result in up to 50% savings in storage space and costs for file backups. It will also reduce network bandwidth usage and will allow for faster backups. Next to the duplication is retention policy. Every time ASI OBM runs a backup job, any previously backed up files or folders that are subsequently modified or deleted on Wasabi are moved to the retention area, where they can still be restored. The retention policy determines how long these deleted or modified files or folders are stored in the retention area before they are permanently removed. There are two retention policy options for cloud file backup sets on ASI OBM. One is simple, where the retained files are removed after a specified number of days or backup jobs. The default retention policy setting is 7 days. While the other is advanced, where you can add multiple policies to keep the most recent versions than older versions or be able to recover the older versions of deleted or modified files and or folders. Click the plus sign to add advanced retention policies or see more of the advanced retention policy. You can change the default retention policy name, but you can also use the default name provided. You may also choose among the different types as to how recently you would like the different versions of your files to be retained. An advanced retention policy offers more flexibility and control in managing older versions of deleted or modified files or folders to maximize the scope of your data recovery while minimizing storage usage and costs. While well, for simple retention policy, Increasing the duration increases the likelihood of recovering older versions of deleted or modified files or folders. However, this will also increase the storage required, which means higher storage costs. For this example, we'll use a simple retention policy with a duration of 365 days. This provides extra protection allowing us to recover any deleted or modified files or folders from the Wasabi bucket for up to one year. This exceeds the Wasabi Recycle Bin Retention value, which typically ranges between 30 days to 90 days. Close this window by clicking Cancel. Then select Simple and type in 365. Moving on, click Others and you'll see the Temporary Directory and Compressions. For the Temporary Directory, the default location is on the C drive where the Windows operating system is also installed. You might want to change this and select another local drive. For this example, we'll select this local drive and click the temp folder that we created. Then click OK. This is the best practice, as using the C drive might cause the machine to crash once it runs out of space as in some cases, a large number of temporary files may be created during backup and restore. A network drive should also not be considered as this could affect the backup and restore performance. Meanwhile, the remove temporary files after backup is enabled by default in order to keep the temporary drive clear. Below the temporary directory is the compressions. Data compression serves two purposes, enhancing backup performance and reducing storage space and storage costs. There are four compression types available, no compression, normal, fast, and fast with optimization for local. 
this compression type is selected by default as it balances data compression speed, compression ratio, and CPU usage efficiently. The compression settings can be changed anytime. If the compression type is changed, the new setting will take effect on the next backup job. Now that you've learned a bit more about the other important backup settings and how to adjust them based on your preferences, it's time to backup your files. Close this window by clicking Save. From the ASAI OBM home screen, select Backup. Click the backup set that you have just created. Since this is the first backup job, no data exists in the retention area, so there's no need to enable run retention policy after backup. However, you should not forget to enable this in future backups. Click Backup to proceed with the backup job. Once done, you'll see under the load tabs that the backup has been completed successfully. And that's how you backup your cloud data on Wasabi using Assay OPM. While cloud storage services are very popular for their scalability, convenience, and cost effectiveness, there's a significant risk associated with losing access to your cloud data, such as an event that can disrupt your business operations and may lead to unexpected costs. Additionally, it may damage your business reputation resulting in a loss of customer goodwill and potential legal actions. Remember, your data stored in the cloud are exposed to higher risks, making you more vulnerable to data loss. Back up your cloud data with ASI for guaranteed protection against all types of data loss, including data corruption, human error, malicious employees, ransomware, and hackers. Moreover, a backup of your cloud data to local storage will allow you to take full control and ownership of your cloud data. You will always retain full access to your critical business data 24-7 in the event of service outages and even total loss of your cloud data for total peace of mind. Achieve your ultimate goal of complete data protection. Secure, reliable, affordable. ASE, keep your cloud data safe with us.